Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we are talking about the new Chanel Rouge Alert nude lipsticks. So they just launched 12 new shades of the Rouge Alert lipsticks and these 12 shades, there are six that are described as having rosy undertones and six described as having golden undertones. So we have the same you know, traditional Rouge Alert packaging here where you've got the little push top at the top. Let's push that, pull this out. And then we have our traditional lipstick here. So I picked up eight of the new shades and while I was looking at all of the new shades, cause they actually launched at Nordstrom first, uh, you know, they had them mixed with their older shades too. And I got really intrigued by an older shade that I didn't have. So we're gonna take a look at that one as well. One thing to note, the older shades retail for 42 US dollars. The new shades are 45 US dollars, which I believe is going to be the price from here on out. And so if you are looking for any of the previous shades, you might wanna buy them now while you can find them for $42 because pretty soon I think those will all jump up to the 45. I have not had that confirmed, but that's what I think is going to be happening. So let's just take a little look here. The box is the same. This is the old one. This is a new one. They are the same. They have an 18 month shelf life. They are made in France and they are three and a half grams of product. So overall, you know, everything is the same between them. And let's start with swatches. Before we actually swatch this, let me just show you what it looks like. This is it fully extended. And I just want you to notice here that we do have the color number and everything here on the side. You can see it's right here. And the bottom is the actual push part. So it's not on there, but it is on the bottom of the black case. So just something to know if you are, you know, sometimes I take off a few cases at once while I'm swatching. So it's nice to be able to m match them to the correct shade. So let's go ahead and start swatching. This is 186 Sensible, Sensible. This is the older shade that I picked up. And I have to say online, it looked more pink. It's definitely much more peach in real life. Next, we have 194 Sensibilité, and this is new shade. The rest of these will be new shades. This is going to be the lightest of the uh, shades that are meant for cooler undertones. And you can see here that instead of being more pink, it's still more peach. So it's really more of a soft peach. 195 Mise à Nu, and this is going to be a soft, more of a brownish nude shade and again you can see though that the undertones on this run peachier than pink in my opinion um but it is a really nice beautiful soft nude brown next we have 196 a demi mo and this one here i really like this one again still these cooler undertone ones still seem to run a bit warm this one definitely has a little bit more terracotta in there. It's not a true terracotta shade, but it's almost like you have a soft terracotta mixed with a little bit of peach in there. And I think it actually looks really beautiful on the lips. Next, we have 198 Nuance. And this one has more red in here. So you can see that this one is going to have a little bit more of a reddish tone compared to 196. There is no 197 at this time, by the way. And it's really more of a soft brownish red. I think this is a really beautiful one. 199 in a tondu. And this is going to be like one of the perfect fall shades in my opinion. You have kind of this soft chocolate brown with some red in here. And I think it's a really beautiful shade. This is one of my favorites. Next, 204 Sensation. This is the last of the rosy undertone shades. You can see that this one is really more of a purple shade, more of a plum. So sometimes with Chanel, the purples run more eggplant. They have more of a blue base. This has more of a 
pinkish reddish base to it. So it's really more like if you are looking at a deep plum shade. Next we're onto the warmer shades. This one here is 206 Illusion. And you can see here that this is really gonna be more golden than the rosy undertone lighter shades, but this is going to be a soft brown with golden tones to it. And this one is 214 Instinct. So I had to pick this one up because it reminded me a lot of one of the Rouge Allure Velvets that came out the beginning of the year. That was, it's like my favorite shade, but it was a little bit, a little patchy upon application. This looked like a satin version of it. We've got the gold sparkle in here as well. Can you see that there? This is the only uh, shade in the 12 new shades that has a little bit of sparkle in it. You can see here, we're gonna compare the Rouge Allure Velvet with this one, but it is not exactly the same shade. Uh, this one doesn't have quite as much of that blue base to it as the one in the Velvet collection, but it's a really beautiful shade. It is what I have on my lips right now. So some of these shades are going to be permanent and some of them are limited edition. So that's something to note here. Real quickly, let's just go through those. So the permanent shades, we have the 186, which is the shade, it's a previous shade that I picked up. Then we have this one here, which is 196, a Demi Mo. And then we go on down to this one, 199 in a Tondu. Those are permanent. And then 206 Illusion is also permanent. So those shades are going to be sticking around. Now the limited edition shades then are going to be number 194, Sensibility, 195, Mise à Nu. Then we have 190, let's see here, 194, five, six, 198, which is going to be Nuance, and 204, Sensation, 214 Instinct. Those are all limited edition. Now, I didn't pick up all of the shades. Again, I picked up eight. So the other shades in this collection, we have 209 Alter Ego, Alter Ego, which is described as a hazelnut brown. That is permanent. 211 Subtil is a reddish beige. That will be permanent. 212 Character is a chestnut brown. That is limited edition and 215 Dilemme, or Dilemma, <laughs> an ebony shade, is going to be permanent. So let me just go through those one more time as we are looking at lip swatches. We have 194 and 195 are limited edition. 196 is permanent. 198, limited edition. 199, permanent. 204, limited edition. 206, 209, and 211 are all permanent. 212 and 214 are limited edition. And 215 is permanent. Now, as we're looking at these lip swatches, I'm showing you what it looks like with just one sheer layer of color before building it up. You can see it up close and from a distance. I feel like none of these shades applied in a patchy manner, even the deeper shades, they glide on very smoothly. They're very comfortable on the lips. They perform the same as the previous Rouge Allure lipsticks. And I have to say that all of these new shades, uh, you know, they really, they met my standards <laughs> personally. So I really like them along with these lipsticks. Chanel has also released a bunch of new nail polishes in this collection. So we have 12 new nude nail polishes. I did not pick any of them up. They are all limited edition. So if you're interested in any of the nail polishes from Chanel in this collection, they are limited edition, so don't wait on those. I placed my order with Paloma at the Aventura Boutique. She works with my longtime SA, Jalissa. They are both fantastic. Definitely reach out if you are looking for something in particular or are trying to place an order. I will leave her contact information down below in the description box. They always get fantastic service, 
great samples. If there's something in particular you would like to try, you know, definitely reach out and ask her. She can include that in your shipment if you're ordering something. And she's just so incredibly helpful. So definitely uh, reach out if you are looking for something from Chanel. Now, as for my opinions on these lipsticks, I have to say I really like them. I love the Rouge Allure formula. It's one of my favorites. I love satin formulas over mattes. And I think the Chanel Rouge Allure formula, it's probably my favorite Chanel lipstick formula in general because it's very smooth. It glides on seamlessly. It, it does have a little bit higher oil content than some formulas, but it's not oily like the Coco Flash, but it does have that, that glide and that slipperiness on your lips. Wear time for the lipsticks is average, you know, probably about three to four hours or so. And then I like to touch up. The darker shades will leave a little bit of a stain on your lips, but honestly, you're going to want to reapply these lipsticks completely when they start to wear off, because even then that stain, it's, it's not one that you necessarily just want to uh, you know, add a little lip balm and it's gonna look brand new or anything. This is one where, you know, I personally like to fully reapply the lipstick. So I have to say though, I really like these. I have not experienced any feathering or bleeding with this formula in the past. And so far, so good with these. I have to say, I'm, you know, I'm really happy that they came out with more new colors. However, I really wish that their rosy undertone shades <laughs> were more pink. They definitely have peach undertones, which to me, peach is going to be warmer. It's a little bit more golden. Now you can definitely tell that their rosy undertone shades are cooler in tone than those in the golden category. However, they are still not what I would consider a cool tone lip color. I would like to see something with a little bit more of a blue base, a little bit rosier, or a little bit pinker. I would love to see more pinky nude kind of shades from Chanel. They have a few, but you know, I was really hopeful that these ones would be like a, a just a wider expansive range of those types of shades. And these definitely run a little bit peachier. That being said, I am very happy with these colors. I like these colors and you know, I just feel like they could expand on these a little bit more and make them a little bit pinker. And for that reason, my favorite shades in here are actually not going to be the lightest shades. So I really thought that number 194 was going to be my favorite color. It, you know, it looks kind of like a light pinky nude shade online and in the swatches and so forth. But again, it's really going to be much more peach. So my skin is neutral, so colors on my skin, it's a little bit easier to tell what is cool versus warm versus on somebody who perhaps has a warmer skin tone. So it definitely is going to be a truly peach shade. And I, yeah, so not to beat a dead horse here, but I would like to see it a little bit pinker. So my favorite shades in here are actually going to be number 198 nuance 199 in a tendu and 214 instinct now those are going to be kind of my top ones and then moving on to the lighter shades i have to say number 195 mise en new i think is a perfect soft nude shade for the fall you know if you're looking for a light nude lipstick i love this shade of brown i think it's perfect and I, again, I'm happy with all of the shades I picked up, but those will be my top favorites personally. I have a bunch of Chanel lipsticks that we are going to be comparing to these. We're gonna start off with the Rouge Coco lipsticks. This is 494 and this is the shade Attraction. So let's go ahead and do a little swatch down here at the bottom. We'll just put those right there so you can kind of see how that compares. Notice that this has more red in here than either this one here is 204 or 214. So this is gonna have a little bit more of a reddish undertone. It's also gonna be a little bit more brown, like it's more of a reddish brown compared to these more reddish purple shades. And then we have 402 Adrienne. Let's put that right there. 
and that is going to be closest to number 195 mise en nu but it's a little bit peachier it's almost like a cross between 194 and 195. Moving on to the Rouge Allure lipsticks, this is 191 Rouge Brouillant, and this one is going to be, let's put that right there, you can see it's going to have more peach and pink kind of mixed together, it's kind of like a peachy pink, more of a salmon color in my opinion. And let's move on, we also have some of the Rouge Allure Velvets, which we're going to look at. We're starting off with 227 Beige Rougissant. And this one here, let's put this right, well, I guess we'll put it right here. But look at this one. You can see this is going to have some brown tones in here, but it's gonna be a little bit warmer. It has a little bit more of an orangey vibe compared to 195, yet it's not quite as golden as number 206. This is the one I was talking about during the swatches, 178 Brun Celeste. And we're gonna put this right down here with 214 Instinct. And you can see here that this shade, I'm just gonna build this up a little bit. This is going to be more of a blue based compared to more of a reddish base here in 214. They both have a shimmer. They are both gorgeous colors. I really like both shades. This is 168 Porpra Etoile. And let's put this one right here. You can see this is gonna be more of a pink-based purple shade compared to either this one here, again, is 204, 204 Sensation, and 214 Instinct. We have 158 Bronze Solaire. And let's go ahead and put this right here in between those two. You can see that this is gonna be a little bit deeper and have a bit more burgundy in it. And this is 108 Terre d'Etoile. And let's squeeze this one in right over here. I'm gonna do a fresh swatch of that right there so you can kind of see how that compares. And there is a little bit more of this reddish base to it compared to this one, which is 199. And also in comparison here with uh, 206 Illusion. So this is gonna have a little bit more of that reddish vibe to it, but it does lean a little bit warm. There are golden undertones to it. Next, we're looking at the Chanel Rouge Allure L'Extrais. These came out earlier this year. This is 814 Beige Imperial. And I'm just gonna put this one here at the top. You can see, although it's described as a beige, it's going to be kind of a strong peach. And it's gonna be a little bit deeper and more pigmented than 186, which is the older shade, and 194, which is the newer shade. This one here is 812 Beige Brook. And let's put that right there. I'm just gonna put another one of those right there so you can kind of see that in case one angle is better. This is gonna be closest to 186. Sensible. And I feel like it's kind of a mix of 186 here and 195 Mise en Nu. Closer to 186, but has a touch of that nude brown in there as well. And last up, we have 818 Rose Independent. And let's put this down here. You can see here that it is going to be much deeper, more red. It's kind of an orangey rose, like it's rose, but a warmer rose. So there we go. Those are gonna be my comparisons here. And again, you can see that Chanel has definitely gone a little bit cooler with the predominance of undertones in these lighter shades. Most of the time, Chanel's lighter shades are going to run warm and their deeper shades run cool. So these are definitely cooler than their typical shades. However, they're still not quite what I would categorize as a cool undertone for the most part. Overall, I would have to say though that I do really like these new lipsticks. I'm happy with the shades, but I do hope that they expand and go even cooler than this in the future. So thank you so much. I hope this was helpful and please let me know if you picked any of these up, what your thoughts are, and I will see you very soon. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, definitely hit that button down below and I'll see you very soon. Have a wonderful day.